Well, look, I really wanted to build airplanes when I was a kid. It turns out that I was born about 80 years too late for that because I'd want to go back to when you can build airplanes in your back garden and fly faster than anybody else. And by the time you know, I came along, France and England building the Concorde. You have no hope of contributing. I just found a field that happened to be underwater. I've been doing it for 44 years. A little while ago, we started what we call Deep Flight Project, which is to get away from these clunky, silly, old submarine things and build beautiful, elegant things that fly underwater. Once we flew, we had positively buoyant craft, and that changed the safety of everything. Because now you had a craft, you just switch it off, and it's going to come back to the surface instead of sink. Anyone can fly because you just push a lever and go down, you pull a lever back and it comes back up. You can't get much simpler than that. Imagine you're 120 meters down, it's twilight, you've been creeping around, there's big sharks overhead, you're having a great time, and suddenly it fails. What happens? Well, it doesn't sink. It just goes back up. Nuts, it failed, but there's no problem. The key technologies are really battery technology. That's our energy store. And the thrusters, these beautiful thrusters that we've got, they're pushing you down, they're very efficient. Those and, and small microprocessors all over the place that are doing things behind your back, you have no idea, and they're keeping you safe, and they're dealing with everything. The cabin keeps you at one atmosphere. You can come up as fast as you like, go down as many times, there's no question of the bends. There's no pressure on your ears. We have a craft that anybody, and I mean anybody, can take safely down and fly. And that means that before that time, submersibles were a big deal. Expensive, professional pilot. Still expensive, but you don't need a professional pilot, so we're getting there. Well, the price point is 1.5 because they're hand-built, but really, to get down to everyone, We've really, like a car, you've got to be able to rent them. And you know, you could probably rent one now, but you'd have to rent a professional pilot. What we want to get to is you can rent it for an hour and drive it yourself. Okay, the one piece of advice for potential innovators is if you're sure you've got something, don't listen to anybody, your mum, your dad, nobody who tells you you shouldn't do it. Don't listen to anybody. Don't listen to anybody say no, just do it.